we don't know that. Get a lot of help today. Good afternoon, good early evening, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Wild Bill Chase here with Calvin Castine, a beautiful downtown Plattsburgh, Class C, Section 7, 1998 semifinal game. The Northern Adirondack Bobcats tangling with the Lake Placid Blue Bombers here at the Seton Catholic Varsity Field. Who won this afternoon? Northeastern beat all stable, so they're in the finals. The winner of this contest gets to face Northeastern. NAC on the attack. And head by Chad Poyer goes out of bounds. So we got a goal kick. It's a rather warm evening. Rain lurking in the area, but I don't know. There was looked like it was clearing out when I was coming down. I was bringing the good weather with me, Calvin. Bring sunshine wherever you go. Yeah, that's what I, that's my that's my nickname, Sunshine. <laughs> Jeff didn't think that was funny. <laughs> Blue Bombers are what? Play the regular season in the Mountain Valley League, but their school size has been upgraded to Class E since last year. Uh, the rumor is they're switching over to Champlain Valley League next year. NAC Bobcats have already got one victory over the Blue Bombers this year, and the varsity girls beat them in a quarterfinal play yesterday, four to nothing. Yeah, NAC is going to Mountain Valley League. They're going to switch. That's <laughs> a good rumor. Uh oh, and an early chance for Lake Placid and Jubert, not handling the cross cleanly, but picking it up before anybody could get there. Up front for the Bobcats, it looks like they have Chad Rowell, Matt White, and Joel Kruski. Kruski on the left side. We're going from left to right. Halfbacks are Chad Poyer, Liam Mahoney, and Michael Wilson. The stopper position is Aaron Boyer. The sweeper is John Shaughnessy. The outside fulls are Eric Sweeney and Corey Pike. There's a nice ball put in by Poyer. White can't get there. And the starting keeper, Jubert. J.R. Jubert. Didn't you go to the Northeastern game, Calvin? It was raining, so you didn't go? I know Saranac and uh, Saranac Lake were all knotted up at 1-1 at halftime. I stopped in there. Check that out. I was helping out Tom uh, Tragen. <laughs> I'm all tied up here. Throw in for the Blue Bombers, far side of the field. It's actually like a little haze in the air here. Foggy. October 28th. Halloween lurking in the air. Cabbage night. You know, actually my house has been threatened. Some, some teenagers that graduated from NAC last year said they're going to come and get my house on hell night. The 30th. I'll be waiting for them. I talked to the state police. They told me that's all you can do is wait for them. And they show up. And you catch them in the act, then you can do something about it. Number 11, T.J. Lynch called with the push-off. We ought to concentrate on the game here instead of my problems at home. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's a goal. And I don't even know if uh, NAC player kicked it in the net, but it's one nothing Bobcats on top. 36-01 still on the clock. I believe Chad Rowell We'll get credited with the goal. Chad Rowell. Uh, Aaron Boyer. Okay, we're back here. A little defensive uh, letdown by the Blue Bombers and the Bobcats have an early goal. Blue Bombers back on the attack. Jubert picks that ball up about eight yards. Out in front of his net, low line drive kick. Yeah, let's see if we can pick out who's playing here for the Blue Bombers. 
Brian Reinish with the ball right now. He's number 24. Poyer picks off that pass. He dumps it up to Mahoney. Mahoney steps across midfield. His through ball, a little bit mu too much on it, and goes all the way to the keeper. And the keeper would be Jeff Hodges for Lake Placid. Today's officials are a Mr. Lee and a Mr. Toloski. Toloski is a CVAC official and Mr. Lee a Mountain Valley League official. Boye, he got the assist on the goal. Number 25 for Lake Placid, Jason Morganson. Watches the ball go out of bounds. Goal kick coming up. At 13. What number is that on the far side? Can you make it out? It was a single digit. Mahoney trying to cut back to his left. Dances around three bombers. Ball is cleared. Sweeney gets ahead on it. Boye gets underneath it. Taps it back to Sweeney. Sweeney tried to move it down the left side, but Jake LeBrake, number 13, he heads it back into the Bobcat end of the field. There's a number 16 out there, Brad Rafferty. Ball's headed up past Andy Jones. Matt White controlling. Goes to Poyer. Poyer had to, he had a lane there to go through, but uh, booted the ball up the field and out of bounds. It's a semifinal game. Winner will face Northeastern in a championship game to be played, I believe, Monday night. November, what is that, uh, the second? Oh, championship week is what they call it next week. I spread it all out, Section 7 uh, people. Moving to a different championship. They're, what, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think there's a championship game every night of the week. Cross in the middle. That's Rowell. Chad Rowell. Led the Bobcat attack all year long offensively. Ended up with 31, 32 points. Something like that. One of the top 10 in the scoring race. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Wilson. Trying to work around uh, TJ Lynch. Moving it down the left side. But it's uh, Reinish. Putting it back in the Bobcat end of the field. Boye can't get it under control. It's taken off his foot by, oh, we got a number 14. Whitmore, ball's out of bounds. Whitmore will throw it in. Early lead here for the Cats. They're up 1-0. They got a goal in the first four minutes of this ball game and a goal kick coming up. Are they kicking that cameraman out of there? It's the cameraman for the Adirondack Enterprise and reporter, I think. Remember Tim Reynolds? He's telling me Tim Reynolds works for the Albany Times Union now. <laughs> Rowell down the right side. It's off his foot. No. Nope. Said it's off the Blue Bombers. Blue Bombers. They got old Altona colors there. Blue and gold. And MAI. Bobcats, the higher seed team here. They're in their home uniforms. White jersey with green trim, green numbers. And they have green shorts. Bombers in a blue jersey, blue shorts with uh, gold numbers. And some white trim there. Reinish getting set to take this free kick, awarded to the Bombers. He dumps it in on the Bobcat defense. Boye heads it straight down. And that was number eight, Colin Lynch, who couldn't do anything with it. The ball's knocked out of bounds. And Jamie Ness. Ness. Elliot Ness's grandson. Plays for Lake Blasted. And 
I think we almost mentioned everybody that's out there so far for the Bombers. Well, oh, nice long throw there. It's off the head of uh, Sweeney. Jubert has to punch it out. The coaches. Who coaches uh, Lake Placid? I don't even have his name on here. Who? Todd? Bob. Bob Burke coaches for Lake Placid. Donnie Moulton coaches for Northern Out Around Dyke. Moulton's gotten bigger in the last couple of days. <laughs> well, you said that, I didn't. <laughs> Paul Gilmore filling in for Donnie Moulton. Moulton unable to be here due to circumstances beyond his control. That's all we'll say about that. Jake LeBrake trying to steal it off the Bobcat. LeBrake and it's called for What's that called? A dangerous play. Reinish with the throw. It was a good throw. Bob Cazzo. Get it back under control. Boy A dumping it in. Matt White can't get there. Chad Rao picks up the loose ball. Headed out of there by the bomber defense. They dump it out to the right side. That's number 16. Rafferty. Blue bomber player fell down. They maintain possession. Oh, I love it when they put these teams down on a roster and just jumble the numbers around. Jason Morganson running the ball down, kicks it out of bounds. Bob Katz with a throw in. 27.50 on the clock, 1-0. Chad Rowell with the first goal of the game. Morganson trying to keep Krusky at bay. Krusky pulls up, dishes off to Wilson, but Michael Wilson's in the offside position and an indirect kick coming up for Lake Placid. It's pretty quiet here. Things will be quiet Monday night with the Bobcats and the Northeastern tangle in the final. So what are you going to do Monday? Are you going to be here or what? You want me to run the camera and what's his name can uh, do the play-by-play? -play? Ball's put through. Nice play there. Rao with a shot, but it's blocked. We're all working hard, but uh, number 18 for Lake Placid. That's Andy Jones putting the ball out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for the Bobcats. <laughs> Why was it supposed to be 5.30? I got a key. Oh, 5 o'clock. Corner kick. Went from one side of the field to the other. Lake Placid having a little problem getting the ball under control in their own end. It'll be a throw in for the Cats. Well, that's a big boy waiting to come in, number 28. Warbarton. <laughs> Wilson steals the ball, puts it in the middle. Mahoney heads it up the field. White. Losing it. Morganson. And knocked out of bounds by a white goal kick with 25 and a half minutes left here in the first half. Well, as long as they're not hanging around with you, it's okay. <laughs> Wilson trying to move the ball down the left side. Morganson kicks it off Wilson out of bounds. In the game is Dave Warburton. Where'd they put him? Well, back at a fullback position. Hey, 
Ball's dumped into the Bombers' end of the field. Mahoney moving up, trying to lock him in. He gets it to Rao. Rao steps around one. Give and go. Rao. Shot. Just wide on the short side. Score remains 1 0. You're going to go to Screw Lake. How are you going to be here for 5 o'clock? Huh? No, oh, it's 7.15, that's right. NAC and Northeastern. Tangle and girls varsity soccer tomorrow night. Semi-finals, Class C, Section 7. Reinish, throw in. It was given back <coughs> by Lynch, and then Reinish put it down the left side, out of bounds. Sheehan coming into the game, Kevin Sheehan. Chad Rowell had his hair done to look like Kevin Sheehan. Put a little uh, bleach in it. Michael Wilson out. Yeah. Shaughnessy, he's got bleach in his hair. That's the latest craze. When are you going to bleach your hair, Calvin? Well. <laughs> Ball's dumped the left side. LeBrake gets there before Shaughnessy, but Shaughnessy takes it away. Pushes it up the field. Reinish trying to keep it in. Rao coming back to help out. And there's a push called. On the Blue Bombers, number eight. That's Colin Lynch. Bobcats with the ball. Down in the Blue Bombers end. White passing it to Rao to the outside. Poyer picks it up. War button there. And the big body. <coughs> Is it easy to go around? And Poyer kicks it out of bounds. Another goal kick coming up. <laughs> a shot by Boye and a nice save. Why the keeper, Jeff Hodges? A nice shot, actually. Corey Pike keeping it in the Bombers' end. Here on the right side. Dumped out. Poyer will get there. Poyer trying to go back to Rao. Jeff LeBrake, or Jake LeBrake, knocks it off Rao's foot. Punches it out of bounds in front of the Lake Placid bench. Jake the Snake LeBrake? I don't know. There's a Jake LeBrake that works on Bear Hill. I don't know if it's any relation. Boye, dumping it right back in. He's been involved here. In the first 20 minutes or so, he's got an assist. Just had a shot on net. And Boye, keeping control of the middle of the field. Ooh, little contact there. Ball's dumped into number 17, Jamie Ness, but he loses it. Loose ball picked up by Rafferty. He puts it to the outside. Ball goes out of bounds. We got a throw in coming for the Blue Bombers. Reinish. No, nope, it's a free kick. Somebody got knocked down or something. I was looking at the paper. Reinish right at midfield. Sends it in on the Bobcat defense. Pike's able to control that. Steps around one Lake Placid player. Puts the ball down on the ground. That's a nice ball there. Forcing uh, the Bombers defense. Kick it out of bounds. Number nine, John Bickford. I don't know if the Bombers play a diamond defense or not. Looks like they're playing three fullbacks straight across. Good run here by uh, the Bombers on the right side. But the ball goes all the way in to Jubert. Here comes his punt. Puts it over here to the right wing. Rao at midfield. Steps around one bomber player. Chow, he's got the inside position. He's looking to get back up. Tripped up by TJ Lynch. I think a play on could have developed there, but he looked like he had a little difficulty regaining his feet. Boye. With a direct kick to the right of the goal. Just 
Short corner kick. Nice little chip. Kroski. He can't get there. Mahoney. He dumps it in. No, not Mahoney. Mahoney was actually directing traffic. And Shaughnessy kicked it right into TJ Lynch. Reinish with the throw. LeBrake called for a handball. <laughs> LeBrake and Poyer go up. Went off LeBrake's back. So it's a white throw. Chad Poyer finding the open space. Mahoney moving to the ball, but he overran it. Sheehan, he can't get that. Whitmore now for Lake Placid. Corey Pike slows that down. Oh, a little puddle there. Ball dumped outside. LaBrake running in, but Sweeney clears it up to Rao. Nice play there by the Bomber defense. Move it into the NACN, but it's dumped right back in to Lake Placid side. Sweeney comes up, takes the ball off in the foot of LaBrake. Puts it into the middle. Karaski runs in to number 25, Jason Morganson. A call will go against him. It'll be a free kick for Lake Placid, just outside their penalty area. Ball skips by Sheehan, but Pike puts it back in. Karaski. A little mismatch in size there. Morganson, a little a lot taller than Joe Karaski. Ball's put out to the right side. Whitmore overrunning the ball. NAC regaining possession. And then they kick it out of bounds. Morganson with the throw. Ball came in, went out. Sheehan with the quick restart. Looking for Mahoney. And it's cleared away by uh, John Bickford. Dumped right back in by the Bobcats. Karuski, he's on the left side, trying to step around Morganson, and he knocks it out of bounds. We got a corner kick. Coming for the Bobcats. 16 and a half minutes left here in the first half. one nothing's the score for only goal. Took place in the first four minutes of the game. Defensive mistake made by the Bombers, and Chad Rowell capitalizing on it, putting the ball into the open net. Corner kick. Rowell, it's up there and heads it out of bounds. Goal kick coming up. I don't know, the atmosphere is here like uh, just a Sunday walk in the park or something, Calvin. What do you think? Kind of dead or what? I think everybody anticipates the outcome. Oh, well. That can be dangerous. Maybe Lake Placid is going to lure everybody to sleep. <laughs> Mahoney going up there. They get the head into Matt White. White goes outside to Poyer. Poyer can't move it over to the left side. Sweeney picking up a loose ball before LeBrake could get there. Dumps it right back on the right side. Chad Rowell cuts to the inside. Cuts back. Does a little jig on the ball. Poyer looking to move to his left. He can't bust it through the Lake Placid defense. And Lake Placid breaks out. Number 11, TJ Lynch. He's knocked down from behind. It'll be a free kick for the Bombers around midfield. Whitmore trying to move around. Uh, Sheehan. Sheehan, though, the nice tackle there. Pushes the ball up to Karoski, but Morganson kicks it out of bounds. Sheehan going back to Corey Pike. Pike with the left foot. That skips by uh, Reinish. Loose ball picked up at midfield by Boye. He chips it in. Oh, that's by two bombers. White dishes out to the 
Chad Rao who takes a shot and it's high and over the net. Ha -de -da -de -da -da -da. <laughs> That's what it's like here. There's, I mean, you can't even hear nothing on the field. Oh, there's some talk. The break wanting them to get him the ball over here to the left side. Poyer throws it into Rao at midfield. Lynch getting ahead on it. Ball's out of bounds. So Lynch has been playing hard for Lake Placid. He's hustling all over the place. Andy Jones will throw it in. Goes to Lynch. Poyer sends a ball high. Stays in. Reinish keeps it alive. Mahoney picking that up right into the belly of uh, number eight, Colin Lynch. A couple of Lynches on the team. Mahoney's throwing down the right side. Comes to Matt White. And then knocked out of bounds by John Bickford. We got another corner kick for the Bobcats. Twelve and a half minutes left here. First half. Cats on top, one nothing. Hometown Cable bringing you playoff soccer. Championship week takes place next week. All the preliminary rounds this week. Ball's out of bounds. Krusky didn't nail that uh, corner kick as way he wanted to. And now we've got a goal kick coming up with subs coming in for Lake Placid. We'll be talking to him and having him come up here. Mentor. See some see the cage match up here. Break out the chairs. <laughs> That's what you need on hometown, Calvin. Some wrestling. That'll boost your ratings. You know, you can rent them uh, sumo wrestling outfits there. I figured I'd get a couple of those and challenge Debbie uh, Chilton to a match. What do you think? <laughs> well, I think we'd pull in a great crowd, though. Could have it right here under the lights at Seaton. <laughs> or we could travel around. Give everybody a chance to see it. <laughs> Go from gym to gym. <laughs> nice ball put in there by uh, Leah Mahoney. It's cleared. Lake Placid. Trying to get it under control. They wanted to move it to the outside. LeBrake had to kick the ball high, uh, or had to go up high to get the ball with his foot. Reinish making a nice run, but Boye slows him down. Warbutton taps it into the NACN. Lynch sends a shot towards the goal, and Jubert will let that go out of bounds for a goal kick for the Cats. Krosky, he's up there applying the pressure to Morganson. Matt White, the goalie's out. And the keeper, who's that, Jeff Hodges sliding out there. White could have just lifted that up. Got it over the sliding Hodges, but he stacked the pads and makes the save. <laughs> Jeff Wood likes that. They'll stack the pads. He's a hockey player. Boy, yeah, midfield. Puts it in to Karoski. Heads it straight down. But Reinish clears it temporarily. Then he has to steal it away from Mahoney and clear it again up the right side. And Corey Pike will let it go out of bounds. <coughs> Throw in for the Bobcats. <laughs> Michael Wilson returns, Kevin Sheen is out. We're down to 8.40 left here in the first half. 1-0, Northern Adirondack on top of Lake Placid. 
Bill Chase and Calvin Castine here for Hometown Cable. Calvin didn't do no game this afternoon because uh, it was raining. Northeastern played on Sable. And the only report we have is that Northeastern won. Mar or, uh, Joe Karuski going down the left side. He's got some speed. Morganson catches up. Karuski cuts it back. Sends it over to the right side. Poyer. LeBrake is there to step in front of him. Warbutton moving up on Rao. Rao puts it back over to the left side. It's under control by the Blue Bombers. Ball's dumped down the left, or the right wing. Unable to get by uh, Shaughnessy. Nice play there by Shaughnessy. No sub. Brian Schutz looking to get in the ball game, but it's going to be... Uh, a free kick, I guess, for the Cats. Far side of the field. Boye steps over to take the kick. Aaron Boye, Krosky heads it into the middle. Reinish clears it straight up in the field, or straight up in the air. Goes a little ways up the field. Wilson trying to tap it by Morganson. Ball's in the middle, Mahoney takes a shot. Sort of gets more dirt than anything, and Hodges sliding out there. Making a nice save, getting there to before Chad Rowell can get a foot on it. The break, chesting it back to his teammate. Poyer picked up that loose ball. Poyer taps it inside to Mahoney. Mahoney, got to get the shot. Oh, unable to, and nice defensive play by Morganson. TJ Lynch puts it down the right side, but Pike is there to get ahead on it. Whitmore watches Pike move up the field. Pike still with the ball. Lynch takes it away, dishes it up the right side. Nice move there. Another good move. Number 15, Stephen Lahart with the ball. And that's knocked off his foot. Michael Wilson helping out. Wilson with control. Steps around Morganson. Nice move by Wilson. Good ball to Karoski. Karoski, the left foot, comes back to... Oh, I thought it was going to Wilson. But Lake Placid got something to n on it to slow it down. Reinish now gets the ball under control for Lake Placid, and he just boots it down the right side, hoping Whitmore can outrun Corey Pike. Whitmore knocks it over the end line. Goal kick coming up. This game is so exciting. We're showing you the puppy instead of what's going on in the field. <laughs> Just surely no tension in the air here. Wilton, he's on the left side. Use that right foot, gets it in there. It goes through about three or four players. Temporarily cleared. Shot put on goal by Brian Schutz. Hodges has to make the save. Hodges throws it down the right side, but Pike keeps it in for the Bobcats. Ball skips up to Rowell. Rowell's in front of the net. Nice move, shoots, and oh, what a save by Hodges. Coming out of the mouth, goal mouth. And he, Rowell getting, releasing a shot, but Hodges right there. Keep the score one to nothing. Boye trying to move it back up for the Bobcats. LeBreak could have had the ball off in the trap of Brian Schutz, but Schutz was able to pick it up. Joe Karuski overran the ball. Morganson is able to clear it. Ball's back into Lake Placid, end of the field. Mahoney with it. Dishes outside to Schutz. Schutz taking a look. Looking for Karoski. And Karoski runs into the big guy, Morganson. And it'll be a free kick coming up for Lake Placid. Hodges is doing his part to keep Lake Placid within striking distance. One to nothing, Bobcats on top here in the first half. About three and a half minutes left to go before the teams will get their halftime break. Wilson puts it up the field, but Lynch is there. Lynch has played very well for Lake Placid. Goes out to the left side, LeBrake. Well, that's cut off by Brian Schutz. Schutz clears it out. It skips over Warbutton foot, but Andy Jones is there. 
He gets it up to Reinish. Reinish is at midfield. He has some space to maneuver with. Mahoney quickly on him, though. Whitmore trying to go back to Reinish. Morganson, though, now keeps it in. Gets it to Reinish. Ball's in the middle. A good ball movement there. Lynch trying to put it out to LaHart. La break now applying some offensive pressure here. The little Bobcat defense. La break working hard. He's knocked down just outside the penalty area, so it'll be a free kick for the Blue Bombers. Here's the chance. Let's see if they can capitalize. Number 24, Brian Reinish will take the kick. No wall set up by the Bobcats. Low shot and handled cleanly by J.R. Jubert. Stewart throws it out to Matt White. White chips it up over Morganson. Bickford watching Karuski. Wet field. Karuski fell down. And then the ball's tapped through, but uh, Jeff Hodges comes out of his goal mouth area, picks up the loose ball in the penalty area, and uh, but it's sent right back at him. Corey Pike using the left foot. Bickford. Shielding off the NAC player and kicking the ball out of bounds. Bobcats with possession still. Deep in Lake Placid end. Wilson. But he's cut off by uh, LaHart. Again, it'll be a Bobcat throw. Getting close to halftime here, folks. White again, Michael Wilson finds Mahoney. Mahoney trying to go back to Wilson. Ball seems to be hanged, uh, hung up over there in that part of the field right now. Mahoney, he has the long throw. Bobcats do have the flip throw weapon in that Chad Rowell can do that. And the ball will go thrown over the end line. Goal kick coming up with a minute left in this half. One minute. Goal kick goes up to Lynch. Lynch gets it out to the right uh, wing and Whitmore. Lahart taps it back to Whitmore, but Wilson steals it off the foot of Whitmore and steps by Lahart and moves it up to Karuski. The ball's at midfield. Lynch making a nice play there. Mahoney's going to get called. 30 seconds left in the half. 1 0. Cats on top with an early goal by Chad Rowell. Blue Bombers are hanging tough. Pike inside his penalty area, heads it out of there. Whitmore getting it under control, trying to cross it. Wilson with a nice job slowing that down, but the cross is there. Sails over the head of Schutz. Lynch puts it into the middle, the ball will stay out of the net, and the score will remain 1 0 at the half. In this Class C Section 7 semifinal game, Northern Outer Roundback with a one goal lead at halftime over Lake Placid. It is one to nothing on the strength of Chad Rowell's goal in the first four minutes of the game. Wild Bill Chase and Calvin Castine will return after the teams get a break. October 28th and it's 50 degrees out and mild. Jeff Woods up here complaining he's cold. And he's a hockey player, yeah. Yeah, where do you play hockey? Hawaii? <laughs> Certainly not in the Ralph's Point. No. Or the crate. The crate ain't no uh, a glow with heat. Well, he's probably played in the field house. That is kind of a warm building to play hockey in. Never played, Never played in the field house? Well, we're back to semifinal soccer here. Bill Chase, Calvin Castine, Hometown Cable. Over a thousand events a year on Hometown Cable. And this is just happens to be one of them as a soccer game. NAC, the Bobcats on top of the Lake Placid Blue Bombers by a score of one to nothing. We're in the opening minute of the second half and the ball sent in on J.R. Jubert. What did I do with my sheet? Oh, there it is. That's Lynch, I believe. T.J. Lynch, who had a great first half. Ball's out of bounds. Lake Placid has got to be happy with only being down by a score of one to nothing. 
to the Bobcats here. And uh, they're playing some early pressure. Chad Rowell gaining control for the Bobcats in his own end. Bickford hawks it away from Joe Karoski. About Michael Wilson's there to pick up the loose ball. He sends it in. Karoski trying to get underneath it. Bickford, little back kick, sends it to the far sideline. It's kept in. Argentina what? Argentina <laughs> Here comes the Beatman Town. They play in the next game. That's a quarterfinal game for Class B. Seaton will host the Beatman Town Eagles. More than likely, Beatman Town is going to pull Munson out of the net and play him out in the field. Probably pull up the JV goalie, who is a pretty good goalie. A couple times that I've seen him play. Lake Placid keeping the ball in. The NACN. Nice give and go there. Shaughnessy swinging and missing. Corey Pike able to move it up the field for the Cats. Rowell with it. Rowell trying to put it by Whitmore. Whitmore gaining control. Gets it to. Uh, who was that? Number eight. Lynch. Well, on top of the 18, Karoski with a shot, and Hodges makes the save. Hodges has uh, played extremely well, other than that one little miscommunication with his uh, fullbacks in the first early minutes of the game, which enabled Rao to put in the bo ball in the net. He's made some big saves, and there was another key save denying Karoski. I'm increasing this to a two-goal margin. Wilton throws it into Karoski. Kresge now getting the ball again. Morganson using the body, stops that cross attempt. Sweeney looking to keep it in. NAC defender fell down. Boye, Jeff LeBrake looking to capitalize on that. LeBrake trying to step around Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy though, getting the position on, takes the ball away and moves it back upfield for the Cats. Lynch taps it outside. LeBrake trying to keep it in, he does. And Shaughnessy. Regains possession of the ball, puts it into the middle, but Lynch is there. Lynch steps around Boye. Pike slows down the Bombers. And Mahoney comes back to clear it out. It's down the right wing. Karaski with speed. Now in the middle of the field, taps it to Rao. Warbutton. A little give and go, and offsides called as Rao, his forward progress carried him towards the end line, and then he couldn't recover in time. And the official right on top of that to make that call. But nice work there by Karaski and Rao. Ball skips by Poyer. Pike with his left foot puts it down the left side, and it's out of bounds. Reinish will throw it in. Whitmore looked like he'd been tripped up by Poyer, but uh, no call made. Reinish will throw it in. It's looking for Whitmore. Pike is there. Knocks it out of bounds. It's off and Pike right in front of the Lake Placid bench. Oh, now I'm going to hang around the next game now, Calvin. I see who's reffing. Rocket Ron Rivard. All we heard is this, they supposedly won. That's Tragen's missing his right hand man tonight, Jan Flynn. <laughs> Bobcats back on the attack. Chad Rowell hustling back who's Whitmore. Slow down uh, Rowell. And we got an obstruction called. So it's indirect. Rowell. Got a hit inside the penalty area. Two touches here necessary before the ball can go in the net on an indirect. New rule in high school soccer this year. You don't have to kick the ball to full circumference. All you got to do for the first touch is touch the ball. and doesn't even have to roll anywhere. And that, that's all that's necessary. 
Boye to Rowell. Rowell's shot is blocked. Good defense there. Work by the Bombers. And Sweeney sends it over to end line. Goal kick coming up for Lake Placid. I'll tell you something right now, Calvin. The longer this game remains of one nothing score and uh, the bigger confidence this Lake Placid Blue Bombers team is building on here throughout this ball game. More noise coming out of their bench, out of the fans. It's all it's going to take is uh, one shot to get back in it. But the Cats have a chance here. Direct kick to the left of the goal. Boye will take the kick. Boye taps it. Headed out by one of the Bomber defenders. Mahoney trying to tap it outside. That's cleared. Pike sends it back in. Rao can't get there. Lynch does. Taps it out to Whitmore. Whitmore gets it upfield to Lahart. Lynch picking up the loose ball. But at midfield, Poyer using his head gets the ball under control. Lynch again with it. He's hit from behind. Boye dumps it in. That skips by Warbutton. Bickford banks it off Matt White. And then the ball is knocked out of bounds. Off in White. White asking the official, no trip, huh? Okay. No harm, no foul. Lynch picking up the ball at midfield. He's got Whitmore and Lahart. Now Lahart on a give and go back to Whitmore. Shaughnessy working on the defensive end for the Bobcats. Knocks it out of bounds off Whitmore. Quick restart. Shaughnessy on the throw in. Bounces by Poyer. Comes to Rao. Rao's got to go around War Button. War Button. He had it for a second. Lost it to Rao. Poyer on the overlap. And Bickford sliding there. What do we got here? We got a free kick coming. Free kick for the Bobcats. The official claiming that Bickford actually attempted to trip the NAC player. Boye sends it right towards the goal and Hodges coming up and snaring that one out of the air. On the punt, Corey Pike sends it back in. Lake Placid steps across midfield. Sweeney moving up, knocks it off their bomber's foot. LaBrake can't break through. Now the ball ends up here on the left side. Whitmore challenging Chad Rowell. He puts it into the middle to Mahoney. Mahoney taking the shot. And it sails over the end line and wide of the goal. Three subs coming in for the bombers. Uh oh, Bill McConey's here. Shh. <laughs> Falls in on the Bobcat defense. Uh oh, Shaughnessy almost running into his own man. War button, yeah, he's going to get called for that one. Had his arm right on the back of Chad Rao. Bobcats with another free kick down in the Blue Bombers' end of the field. Mahoney. Will take the kick. Hodges gets himself set in the goal. Everybody's lined up on the 18. Shot skips in on Hodges. It's out of bounds. Off in Hodges, and it'll be a corner kick. Wet field conditions. That's what happens. You the ball skips. It actually picks up speed off the skip, and Hodges did all he could do to prevent that from going into the goal. Nice play, actually. Heads up play by Mahoney to skip it in. Here comes the corner kick. Poyer, he heads it wide of the far post. Goal kick coming up for the Bobcats. Sweeney at midfield, taps it back in to the Bombers end, but that goes out of bounds on the far side. Lake Placid, Reinish will take the throw. Yeah. 
Dumps it down the left side. Sweeney's there. Mahoney spinning and heading the ball. Karaski picking it up. Goes inside to Rao. Rao trying to bust it up the gut. War button. Try to... Uh, had it on his foot for a second. Poyer picked up the loose ball. His pass across the middle sails off the foot of Michael Wilson. Out of bounds. Lake Placid will have the ball on a throw in. One of the fans down here yelling, don't use your toe. I don't think Poyer actually even <laughs> got that off the toe. It went off the outside of his right foot. Just, I think he was looking in the towards the goal. Took his eye off it. He's lucky he even got anything on it. Reinish trying to keep it out for Lake Placid. Karoski picking up the ball. Moves it into the middle. Mahoney can't run it down. Rowell has War Button right on top of him. And that's a lot of defender to keep off your back. Pike dumped it right back in. Headed straight up by Mahoney. One time it, he scores! That ain't Mahoney, that's White, I mean. Unleashing a corker. And Matt White with a big goal for the Bobcats, giving them a two goal lead with 26, 38 on the clock. Two nothing, Northern Adirondack over Lake Placid. Well, the Donnie Moulton clone can breathe a little easier now, according to Kelvin. Lynch, though, back on the attack for the Blue Bombers. Oh, that was, oh, looked like it went off the defender, Shaughnessy, and right into the hands of Jubert. Just a little bit redirected, but Jubert was there to keep it out of the goal. Wilson hustling back. Wilson, he gets bounced around a little bit. He's not a big guy. Free kick for the Bobcats down in their own end. Boye quickly on a restart. Krusky trying to run that ball down. Bounces up on Reinish. He regains control. Reinish can't get it by Michael Wilson. Nice play there by Krusky. Wilson dancing around one of the Bombers defenders, but that's knocked off his foot. La break. Trying to move around Sweeney. Shaughnessy comes over to help out. A break. Can't get by Shaughnessy. Dumped inside. Reinish with the ball. Mahoney taps it off his foot. Liam Mahoney. Chad Rowell. Matt White. White will go apply some pressure to War Button. War Button taps it around White. There's a ball on the field. There's two balls. Beat Midtown in the corner, warming up. Rowell kept his eye on the game ball, that is. And Poyer, he's down here, away from the play. Reinish heading that ball out of there. Cats applying some pressure down in the Blue Bombers penalty area. And we got a stoppage of the clock because it. Chad Poyer's down, 24-42, left on the clock. 2-0, Northern Adirondack over Lake Placid. Okay, we're back to soccer. Sweeney dumps it down the right side over the end line. Goal kick for the Blue Bombers. Number seven's in the contest for Lake Placid. That's Kevin... Short cut. First time for him. TJ Lynch picking the ball up in the middle of the field. He dumps it out the left side. Sweeney's there for NAC. Sweeney taps it into up the field. Karoski, one man to beat. He steals it off his foot. Steps around Reinish. Maintains control. Sweeney coming in there. Oh, Rao on the far post. Headed it towards the net. Ball stays in bounds though. And now that's stolen off the foot of Boye. That's one of the few times Boye's lost the ball here tonight. And they do move War Button over to the right side. It looks like it. 
Sweeney steps around LeBreak. It's off in LeBreak. It'll be an NAC throw, far side of the field. Seaton and uh, Beatman Town waiting for this game to finish. They will tangle game schedule for a 6.45 start. Quarterfinal game, Class B. Loose ball inside the penalty area, and Hodges making a nice play. Hodges has played very well for Lake Placid. Matt White, he's got the NAC's second goal. What a beautiful play, one time in it off the head of a Lake Placid defender. Lynch dumps it in over the midfield line. But Shaughnessy puts it right back in on the Bombers' defense. Oh, nice play there by Chad Rao. Putting the ball through Jason Morganson's legs. What do they call that? A salad or something. And number seven, short cut. He's called for a push. NAC will get a free kick in front of Lake Placid. Bench, I was going to... <laughs> well, off the foot of Rao. Whitmore coming back in the game and short cut. A short cut is short cut in playing time. They take him right out. Sheehan's in the game. Sheehan actually replacing Chad Rao, the injured Bobcat player. Reinish with the throw. Looking for Whitmore. Whitmore goes back to Reinish. He missed kicked. Mahoney there for the Bobcats. Clears it up to Rao. Rao touches it out to Sheehan. Sheehan moving it up the field. Morganson keeping it in the Bobcat end. And Reinish going to get called for getting an arm in on the Bobcat player. 2-0, nothing, and I see on top here. 21 minutes or so left in this, and left in regulation that is. <laughs> Lake Placid is yet to actually to muster any much of a, an attack. They've <coughs> a few shots towards Jubert, but that's about it. Goal kick for the Cats. LeBreak is out. And number 17 is also out. Elliot Ness, or Jamie Ness. White chest that back to Mahoney. Mahoney trying to get by Lynch. He can't. Wilson looking to pick up the loose ball. That's top, tapped out to the left side by the Blue Bombers. Boye is there to pick up the loose ball. The heart. Can't stop Boye from dumping it back in on Lake Placid defense. It goes out of bounds. <laughs> Throw in for Lake Placid. Far side of the field. Brian Schutz waiting to come in for the Bobcats. On the throw in, Michael Wilson headed it to Matt White. Now Wilson. Wilson, again, getting a little help from Sweeney. He dumps it in. Morganson takes it off the foot of Rao. Now Rao picks up the loose ball. What Whitmore steals it away from Rao. Moves up the right side. Pike at midfield, got a head on it. Little Hart goes back outside to Whitmore, and they dump it into the penalty area. Coming out, picked up the loose ball, J.R. Jubert. Jubert take his time, punt the ball, all the way to midfield, gets by Reinish, squirts into the Blue Bombers end of the field. Karaski, touch pass to Mahoney, Mahoney outside to Rao, Rao unable to keep it inbounds, goal kick coming up for Blue Bombers. John, John Coyer's up here now, picking on Jeff Wood. John, don't pick on him. He's, he's crying. He's cold. Lake Placid on the throw in. Nice throw down the right side. Whitmore, he runs into a NAC defender. Corey Pike. 
Some of the people from Lake Placid don't agree with that call, but uh, that's a good call. I mean, you got to maintain control, and you just can't run people over. They're going to stop the clock with 17.59 left here in the second half, and the Cats up two to nothing. <laughs> that's right. Thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four, one thousand five. Comes after five, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jeff Wood not stopping the clock when he was actually signaled to do so. Then he had to count to eleven before he could start it again. That was after the injury, and the cats. Uh, Pike goes to the bench. And Poyer is on the bench, losing a couple starters here. That rolls up on the arm of Liam Mahoney via handball. Lake Placid <laughs> down by two goals. And really, maybe you've had one good scoring chance all game. Mahoney, sliding tackle, knocks the ball out of bounds. Nice play there, got all ball. Reinish will take the throw for the Blue Bombers. <laughs> Mahon, or Shaughnessy getting ahead on it. Gets it up to White. White puts it out to the right side. Joe Karuski lets the Blue Bomber player save it and then steals it away. Punches it down the right side and out of bounds. Class C semifinal game. Championship game will be Monday night. Class C semifinal game for girls varsity action tomorrow night. Uh, Tupper and Osable in the first game. And Northern Adirondack playing Northeastern in the 7 15 game. Northeastern boys beating Osable today, so it'll be a uh, little well, things work out here for the Bobcats in the next 16 minutes. It should be the Bobcats against the Cougars in the final on Monday. One interesting note is the girls final is not they believe the semifinals are tomorrow night but they don't play the final until the following Thursday so they get a week in between the semifinals and final. Tom Tragan telling us that they wanted to spread it out more and Enable the kids that aren't playing to be able to watch the kids who are playing. They want to, well, maybe they want more people to pay to get in the game. I don't know. Instead of having two finals on one night, you know, you, you spread them out. And uh, maybe, yeah, that's something we should recommend if you're. Uh, Mountain Valley soccer player or uh, Champlain Valley soccer player, you should get in free to all sectional games. Or at least wear a costume or something. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Tension here. So thick, you can cut it with a knife. <laughs> Well, the next game I think a little bit be a little bit more heated. Class B game. Seaton hosting Beatman Town. Lake Placid, Class C school now, although they play all their regular season games in the Mountain Valley League. Rumored that they will be in the Champlain Valley Athletic Conference next uh, next year, next school year. That'll be 10 boys teams in the CVAC. And the question is, Calvin, are they going to play 18 game schedule then? Or do you switch it around and have a couple divisions? And yeah, but that doesn't work out for a 16 game schedule. Chad Poyer has recovered and returning to action. Kevin Sheehan is out. So we go two fives and you play everybody in your division twice and then everybody else in the other division once. How many games is that? 14, so. 13? Yeah, 8 and 5, 13. Well, so 
Maybe they'll play everybody twice and go to an 18-game schedule. I know one comment was made. There was really actually no hurry to get these playoffs over with sectional-wise because nothing for state takes place until after the 6th. Ball moved up by the Blue Bombers. Chad Rowell <coughs> unable to get that, keep that ball in bounds. Morganson is out, number 12 coming in for him. That'd be Bozeman. John Bozeman, first playing. Shaughnessy moves it up, Whitmore kicks it out of bounds. Shaughnessy with that bleached hair throws it in. Threw it all the way in off the chest of Lynch. Ball moved over to the right side. Karuski over there by himself headed it into the keeper. Hodges on the punt. That's uh, John uh, LaBear in the game now for the Bobcats. One of the JV players moved up for sectionals. He's number 21 playing back here at the outside full position. He went in for Corey Pike. The break, making a run down the left side. 11 and a half minutes left here. Hometown Cable High School Soccer action. It's the playoffs for the 98 season. Are underway. Chad Rao hustling there. Preventing Jones from moving the ball up the field. Went out of bounds, far side. I just didn't join because I don't have time. I can't leave and be at Saratoga for a four o'clock meeting with the team. I can't be at all for a four o'clock meeting with the team. That's where you got to go. Ball's dumped in on the Bobcats. And Jubert using the length of his arms and his height to. Snag that ball out of the air. Tall, lanky kid, J.R. Jubert. Karuski down the right side into the bomber territory. Goes back to Schutz. Schutz banks it off in the Rhinish. It's out of bounds. Throw in coming up for the Cats. Schutz will take it. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Lake Placid will get the throw. Ten minutes left here in this contest. Sweeney on the throw. Moved it into the bomber territory. And then uh, Colin Lynch kicked it back out of bounds. Karoski with a burst of speed down the right side. Karoski has to cut back. Defender fell down. Nice ball. Shot. Made a save. Wow. Nice play there, Karoski finding uh, Liam Mahoney cutting in. And Hodges on the short side, keeping the ball out of the net. Score remains two to nothing, but the Cats get a corner kick here. I guess there was uh, quite the party over the last weekend, Kelvin and some soccer players from three schools, Sable, Saranac, and Peru. I don't know if they all went to the same party. Uh, and I think even a girl player from Peru, they all got caught and busted, so there's some people that aren't experiencing sectional play this week due to the fact that they were partaking in some party activity. Ball's headed in by Chad Poyer, but Hodges keeps it out. His throw up to the right side to Whitmore. Whitmore goes to Lahart, but that's by Lahart behind him. Shaughnessy and LaBear helps out here. Rao, Chad Rao to Chad Poyer. Poyer tried to keep it in, just went out of bounds. Four subs returning for Lake Placid. Oh, 
Ball's bouncing around there. Morganson and Bickford and Chad Rowell are dancing around it, it looked like. And finally, Lake Placid clears it out of bounds in front of the Bobcat bench. Poyer on the restart. Finds Mahoney. Mahoney to Rao. Bickford clears it. LaBear, though, dumps it back in. Matt White looking to run down the ball. He keeps it alive and gets it to Rao. And Rao's he header goes into the belly of Hodges. Nice work there by Matt White. Ball's out of bounds right here by the Lake Placid bench. Seven minutes and counting. Bobcats up two to nothing. Chad Rao and Matt White getting the Bobcat goals. Big third. Kicks it out of bounds. John, you gonna put my Halloween party in on the sports shorts? I got a Halloween party. Can you put it in the sports shorts for me? Wow, I seen one already in there. It's a youth commission party. Oh, okay. Let me give you an angle on it. <laughs> I got to think of an angle. Got an angle I can think of, Calvin? Best sports costume gets prize. All right, there you go. <laughs> How about we're going to have the Bob Getz look-alike contest? <laughs> Not me. Reynolds? Oh. Mahoney now. And John LaBear picks up that loose ball. Brown taps it by Morganson. Pickford, no. Gains control, dumps it in on LaBear. LaBear calmly sends it up, straight up that is. Ball at midfield, Reinish headed it in. Sweeney steps around the one bomber player. Reinish now with the ball on the left side. Looking to move it all down the field. Let's tap back to Reinish. He fell down. Yeah, who's that, number 27 it looks like, or 21, Mike Beglin. Is it 27? Is there, I don't see a 27 listed, to tell you the truth. Joe Karoski is out. I didn't see who went in for him. Is it Matt Barnaby? Hustling, John LaBear sends that ball out of bounds. Four minutes, or four to four minutes plus here. Left in his second half, two nothing. Bobcats maintaining that two goal lead. Good play there by Mahoney, deny that to Pass or shot. Oh, and a beautiful shot off the foot of Lynch. And Jubert right there to make the save. And that's one of the better scoring opportunities Lake Placid has had all evening. Lynch has played a tremendous game for the Blue Bombers. Of the Bobcat defense, Boyer, Shaughnessy, Sweeney, and Corey Pike. They've smothered pretty much everybody else. White putting his arm in the back of Bickford, but the goalie picking it up, top of the 18. It's over on the far side of the field, Wilson and Barnaby. Barnaby is going to get called for a charge. No subs on a free kick. Boye, midfield, steps around uh, Jones, gets it up to White. White looking for the cutter. That'd be Mahoney, but uh, nice play defensively. Overran by uh, Morganson, balls loose, but cleared over the end line. Corner kick coming up for the Bobcats. Corner kick here. Late in the game for the Bobcats, two and a half minutes left. Bill Chase, Calvin Castine, hometown cable, bringing you up some playoff soccer action here. Beautiful downtown Plattsburgh, Seton Catholic Field. 
Bobcats have actually, this is almost a home away from home type of place. Won tournaments down here, sectional titles. <coughs> Sub coming in for Lake Placid. Also the Cats, their big win, their first win of over Maple Hill took place here on this field. But several other teams have enjoyed success here. Northeastern, Clinton, Toger Boys, they've won sectional title here. Girls or Northeastern have won a couple. Ball's tapped into Mahoney. Give and go from White back to Mahoney when the ball squirts in to Hodges. Hodges, punt. Poyer. Looks fully recovered. Clock ticking away here. Valuable seconds. Blue Bombers unable to penetrate that Bobcat defense. Cats looking to set up a rematch with Northeastern. Last year was Northeastern and the Bobcats in the final and Northeastern prevailing. I think it was a 3-1 to one score. 14 to nothing. <laughs> There's no football at Northeastern or Northern Adirondack. Down under a minute. And actually, Northeastern and NAC, they're the only competition each other's got in Class C here the last few years. And maybe a baby boom doesn't occur in either district. It might be. <laughs> huh? They're close to being a B school? Well, uh, Saranac have moved up into the B. And they're counting it down, and Northern Out around Dag's going to probably prevail. And they will. Two to nothing. Chad Rao and Matt White picking up the goals. Rao's goal in the first half. Uh, White. Goal in the second half. So the Bobcats advance to the championship game to be played Monday night right here at Seton Catholic Field. And from the best we know, their opponent will be Northeastern. They played off Sable at 2 o'clock this afternoon in Peru. So this has been Bill Chase, Calvin Castine for Hometown Cable, your ultimate high school sports network in Clinton County. Playoff soccer will continue here tonight. Beat Midtown and Seton will tangle after they get a chance to warm up. I want to wish everybody a good night. And remember, hand out more tricks than you do, I mean, hand out more treats than you do tricks. Halloween coming up this weekend. Have a good night, everybody.